So I came across a video. It's called The Fatherless Crisis in America. Shout out to my man, Mike Ross, hitting me up in the DMs with this. If you guys got some stuff that you feel like is definitely worth putting on this channel, make sure you hit me up, let me know, because we will potentially dive into it. I want to see what this one is all about. It seemed interesting, so. I have some disturbing stats I want to share with you about fatherless homes. And by the way, some of the stats, you mean, oh, I've seen this before. I said, I'm going to tell you when you read some of these stats, you're going to sit there and say, that is insane. By the way, these stats are from 2021 of the impact a father makes in a child upbringing, both a girl and a boy. Like I said, disturbing, but you will be shell-shocked with the stats. If you get value from the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let me get right into exactly. it. Exactly. The subscribe. US has the highest rate of children <laughs> living in a single parent household of any nation in the world. About 80% of single parent homes are led by single mothers at a rate of 23% of children living with one parent and no other adult. The United States stands over three times the world average of 7% of children raised by one parent. For wow. reference, okay. the number stands at 3% in China, 4% in India. And that's wild because China got like a billion people. Wow, okay, we really messing up. This is not an area we want to be competing with other countries. By no. Way. If there is a statistic to not be competing in, this is one of the statistics. China's at three, India's at four, the world's at seven. We're at 23% in America. Zero bragging rights. This is the stat everybody wants to hide. And this is the stats where the side effects of this, we ain't going to see for two decades or three decades or longer. Ooh, what he just said is the realest. That's the realest shit ever. You, the, 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 this is stuff that you're not going to see the effects of for, for a decade or two because we've got to obviously allow these generations to grow up, see what happens, how it goes. And then add in all the craziness of the world with the internet and, and, and the short-term attention spans of TikToks and things like that, and people pushing for extreme acceptance of so many different things that don't make all the sense in the world. Like, it's, it's a really weird time to be a kid right now, and I, I can only imagine what they're gonna turn out to be like. Takes a while to see the side effects. Let me continue. Even for children with a father present in the home, the average school-age boy only spends about 30 minutes per week with one-on-one -on -one conversations with his father. For comparison, the same boy on average, we'll spend about 44 hours a week watching television, playing video games, and surfing the internet. In our house, there is no video games throughout the week. It's on the weekends after you read 150 pages throughout the week. Then you have the right to play video games for an hour or two on the weekend, and that's what you have to earn. You have to move your body. You have to exercise. There are certain things you need to do to get to that point. That's our household, but the stat tells you 44 hours a week of watching TV, playing video games, and surfing the internet. Let me continue. 90% of all homeless and runaway children, 63% of teen suicides, 85% of children and teens with behavior disorders come from fatherless homes. Let me read that statue one more time. 90% of all homeless and runaway children, 63% of all teen suicide, 85% of children and teens with behavioral disorder come from fatherless homes. That is a very, very big number. Next, fatherlessness likewise has a direct link to teen pregnancy and sexual activity. Roughly 70% of teenage pregnancies come from women raised in a fatherless home. 70% of teenage pregnancies comes from fatherless homes. That's kind of wild. I'm curious why that was. Is it just because there's not an extra parent to stop them from sneaking out and having the guy sneak in? I don't know. That's really, that's really interesting. I'm not trying to make a joke about it, but... That's a big number. And these same women have significantly higher abortion rates than women raised by both a father and a mother. On the whole, fatherless kids are 20 times more likely to be incarcerated and 11 times more likely to exhibit violent behavior than children from two-parent households. 20 times more, okay? 20 times more. If a man and a wife raise a child, they're less likely to end up in jail, but they have the same chances as children raised by just their father. You may already be blown away by the stats before, so maybe come back and let me read this to you. <laughs> he said, yo, listen, let me reiterate this one for you real quick. All right, so one question that I have though, I'm curious if there's different stats on there being a stepfather or a stepmother involved. I'm just really curious where the, where, how, what, what the difference in stats would be when it's something like that as opposed to the original parents Embrace or an adoption or, or... If you missed it, let me read it one more time. Listen, 
Just stay with me. Don't get distracted. Stay with me. Listen. <laughs> I like if him. A man and a I wife like him. raise a child, they're less likely to end up in jail, but they have the same chance as children raised by just their fathers. Husband and wife raise their kid. The chance of this kid going to jail is the same as just the father raising his kids. The problem is the single mother without a father in the picture that can sit there and discipline the kids, give them hope, values, principles, all the other stuff. We play different roles. This is statistic. If somebody's watching and saying, oh my God, you're discounting women, you're discounting mothers. The last video I just checked out, all the feminists on that panel would have been like, what are you talking about? Ah! But like, he's not telling a lie though. It's not taking away from, from anybody. He's just saying that there's different roles that we play. And I'm sure that there's other places where the, 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 the child may, uh, you know, be uh, have a deficit if it's just the father, but we're not talking about, he's talking about these specific things. So it makes it seem like he's downplaying the woman and the man is just way better. But I, I would assume that there's gonna be a deficit in different areas based on male or female parent. Go get upset at the stats, not at me. This is stats. You can't get upset at three times three is nine. That's stats. I'm giving you stats that's being given to us by the government because they have access to these stats. This is disturbing, let me continue. Girls with no fathers have lower self-esteem. We can lower crime, lower mental issues, help the economy, lower rates, and decrease homelessness by bringing back the family nucleus. I truly there are agree. things that my wife can do as a mother that I can't do. There's things she can bring that I can't bring, but there are things I can do that she can't do. So now you may say, well, Pat, I agree. I, I, I do agree. We can lower this. We can. But then how come it's not happening? And here's the other question. Who's to blame? Who do we blame with this? Now, you may be listening to this saying, well, it's got to be the husband and wife's fault. It's got to be the man and the woman's fault. Fine. How come it's not the same ratios around the world? Why is U.S. fatherlessness at 23%? Everywhere else is 7% average. So is it really the mom and dad? So how about the mom and dad in India? How about the mom and dad in China? How about the mom and dad in Germany? How about the mom and dad in Brazil? How about the mom and dad in other places? Why are we at 23%? How did this happen? Was it like this before? Is it an evolution? Is it mainstream media? Is it Hollywood? Is it the fact that parents are afraid of parenting because everybody is so much involved? You can't do that to your kid. You can't do this to your kid. You can't discipline your kid like that. Whose fault is it? It's someone's fault. Is it the fact that, hey, you know, we can't really bring church and schools and pray and all this stuff? I don't know. Maybe that's not something you agree with. Maybe it is. Maybe we need those values and principles. But it's somebody's fault in America. So this is, this is interesting, right? Because he's not wrong. Stats are stats. If that is the stat, that is the stat. The problem is once you have the stat, determining why the stat is what it is, is the hard part. Because it's never gonna be across the board, this is the one reason. It's gonna be a multitude of reasons, like a lot of different reasons. And then trying to determine which is the highest percentage, what, what ones can we uh, like, you know, try to fix? What can we, what can we try to combat to, to make this number go down? That's the hard part is trying to figure that out. That's why he's saying like, what, what is it? Is it mainstream media? Is it Hollywood? Is it, and I'm sure it's a mix of all these different things in a sense. It could be the fact that we could just go on Instagram or Tinder swipe and you see someone hot and you want to go get, and so you don't, that, that staying with somebody is not really, it's not a thing anymore. Like I, I dated somebody and I, I'm not saying that they, because they were, they're not part of this younger generation, but I feel like they were somebody who, and I don't know if this is always how they've been, if this is how they've changed over time, but it seems like they like to date people for maybe a year, a little bit more, whatever it is. And then once that initial spark that, you know what I'm saying? When you first meet someone and you just really want to be around them and the sex is, oh my God, I can't wait to get a hold of you and, and everything like that. But that, that slowly dies. You may love somebody, but that doesn't last. 10 years down the road, you cannot admit to me that that's going to be the exact same. It's not. There's some people now that I feel like are addicted to that feeling. And it's almost like that's why they hop from partner to partner and there's no like stableness. Now, I don't think that that's what this is. This not, I don't think that's what's causing this problem. But I would say that that happens small percentage of the time. I would say that people see in media and, and this small percentage of the time. It, it, it's like, you know, then social media and stuff has this mentality of like the go getter. The, the, so if you end up with a child with somebody and you don't feel like they're achieving something at a high level, you don't want to work with them anymore. You just want to go find that person that's already accomplished something. There's so many, like I could sit here for five hours and, and just list number after number after number of different things. It's just really hard to find the way to fix it when the stat doesn't really give you what the strongest point is. What's the first thing we should attack kind of stuff. You know what I mean? That this is happening. This is purely a systemic issue that we're having. This cannot be like 
in your whole, you know, no, nah, it's, it's really, it's really the community, it's the parents, it's the culture, it's all this other stuff. No, standards are standards. We're sitting there not educating. Ah, it's not a big deal. Go ahead and do that. Ah, it's not a big deal. Go ahead and do that. Ah, it's not a big deal. Go ahead and do that. No, standards have dropped and the numbers are showing. If, if we judged a country based on how many kids are being raised by fatherless homes that's producing crimes at the levels that we're getting, sex during teenage pregnancy, abortion, suicide, incarceration. Maybe we ought to look at this. Maybe this is very important. Maybe our educational system sucks. Ooh, oh, talk about it. Oh my goodness, yo, I've, I could go on for hours about the educational system. Listen, I know we have to learn the basics, the math, the English, the, but there's a point at which we don't learn the values that we need in life. Like I, you graduate, you go into college and stuff like that. And you're already ready to sign up for a credit card. You can open a bank account. You don't know anything about money management. You don't know anything about building credit. It seems very simple, but that, why is everybody in debt then? Why are so many people at the back end of these things? It's just like, we don't, we don't teach all this stuff. We don't teach. Ah, there's just so many things that I feel like need to be taught. So many things that need to be taught in high school that are not taught. Maybe kids spend more time around teachers than they do around their parents. That too. Maybe. That too. Who do we blame? The responsibility has to lie on the nation. Maybe we're either too much involved or we're not selling. Take your time to get married. Take your time before you have sex with someone. Take your time before you get pregnant. Take your time before you have a baby. Protect yourself. Stay home. Do not just go out there and have unprotected sex. Maybe we're not talking about this kind of stuff. Maybe we are, maybe we're not. The stat says we're not selling it in the right way and we're paying a price for it. If you're in a community that crime is high, hello, you're feeling it. That's the stance. So the next time you see a father that takes their job as a father seriously, you can actually say, you know how we see somebody in military uniform? Guess what you say? Hey, thank you for your service. What do you mean? Hey man, stats, 23% fatherlessness, and you're there with your kids? Thank you for your service. Being a father is tough. Good for you guys, husband and wife, trying to make this work. Marriage is tough. Salute. You make my life better and safer by raising good kids. Salute to you. Maybe. Maybe we ought to give those awards. Maybe we need to kind of recognize Father of the Year Award. A bigger deal. Man, if I ran a state or a country, we, we would be recognizing certain behavior and turning great fathers and mothers into heroes. Into heroes. Because God knows their job is hard. Very hard. Not you know, making their job harder and not recognizing the guys that are doing a good job, just kind of winging it. Which the Squeak down, you guys. All right, we got to talk at the end of this. There's, I'm, we're going to go in really quick. We're doing it right now. Stats don't favor us. We got some work to do. This is an area, well, I will very comfortably say America's got a lot of work to do. We've stepped away from values and principles and we're kind of winging it. Anyways, no one masters per parenting and none of us know if we're going to be great parents or not for about 40 years until our kids are 40 years old. By the time you know you're a great parent, you're probably not alive because your grandkids will validate that you were a good parent. So you're never going to know whether you were a great parent or not. But I made a video from all the different things I've learned and what I apply in my life about parenting called How to Raise Successful Kids. If you've never seen it, click here to watch that. Hey, video. I do that at the end of my videos. Boop, right over here, there's going to be something. Uh, there will be at the end. All right, so whoo, this is, this is an interesting one. Um, I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm pretty sure my community, the black community, is probably the biggest uh, percentage a part of that 23%. And that is a problem. And that's something that we've got to get under control. And I've talked about it in multiple videos. And I think a lot of it comes from, you know, the, the gangs and the, just this, 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 this different stuff. Now, obviously in the past, yes, there, there were different reasons that made it harder. And yes, black men are incarcerated more, but black men are also selling drugs and doing illegal things more. It's something that we've got to accept. Now, were there things in society pushed into poverty way back and, and stuff that's kind of built up to where we are now to where it's kind of just become this thing. And it's almost like we don't realize that there are some more privileges for us now. There are some more opportunities. There are some more avenues that we could potentially take, but you keep looking up to the people before you that have gotten affiliated in this gang, that have done this, that have done that, and you, you kind of follow suit. So I feel like as a black community, we've got to get our part under control. And I'm only speaking on that because I'm a black person. I, you know, Everybody should get theirs under control, but I feel like we, we could have a discussion about what we need to do. And, you know, some of it is, is just, just trying to realize that you're, we don't have to do all this stuff anymore. You know, like I get it. At one point when gangs initially came together, the purpose was 
people coming together in a community to help protect each other, to help, you know, fight against the inequalities, to help like all these things. And, and it made sense at the time. Nowadays, gangs are literally just guys getting into gangs to be like, I'm going to go gang bang and da da ba ba. And it, 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 there's no purpose to it anymore. Not like what it used to be. And, and, and I, I can't help but think if all of a sudden tomorrow, and I've said this a few times, every single gang, every crip, every blood, every whatever, they were like, we're never going to accept another member. We're going to now turn our gangs into trying to help our black community, try to help raise the kids the right way, try to help do things the way that it needs to be done so we can improve our situation. It, 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 there, there'd, be no, there'd be no disadvantage to that. It's not like, oh, the government's going to su suddenly come and take over the black people because the gangs are gone. No, it's going to help us. It's going to help us make the changes in society that we want to see. The things that we feel are still in, unequal, we can, we can now... Hey, look at this. Hey, look at that. There's nothing they could point at us and say, well, the gangs and this violence and this, right? Like, I don't know. I just feel like there's certain things that we've got to do and we've got to change. And I'm not here to say that there's not some odds that have been stacked against us in the past. And there may still be a few now, but to continue to point at those and look at those, oh, this and this, it's almost like, it's like the black community. It's like we're waiting for the other races to come in and fix it for us when we could fix within. We could fix a lot of this stuff within and, you know, so I kind of went on a tangent now where I'm just talking more about my community, but it, 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 this is where it comes from. It's, this is a part of it. Like, it, I, I've watched a bunch of videos. I was watching Destiny debates. Like, we are a big percentage of this 23%, and we shouldn't be. We shouldn't be, and we could fix it, and we could, we could do better. We could definitely do better. And it's not all people's sides. I'm not saying it's just the black men. I'm sure there's some black women that are a part of this. It, it, it's, it's As a whole, our community has to come together and try to figure this out. But Overall, our country has to come together as a whole and figure this out on the grand scale because just us fixing it doesn't drop that 23% to 7%. I, I would not believe so, but it would get it closer for sure. But we all have to kind of take and do our part. Yeah, that's my tangent. All right. I appreciate you guys. Listen, today's been an odd day for these videos. I feel like I'm just, I'm, I'm being as organic as possible. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and, and cut and sugarcoat. I'm just going to say whatever and we're going to take off. So I appreciate you guys. If you're new here, smash that like button, hit that subscribe. We're going to continue to talk about things because it needs to be done. Uh, like I said, new video will pop up right here. I'm just like that guy. You guys could check it out. Go down the rabbit hole. I'll catch you next video.